I want to start this off with reading the fine print first. Transform Skyrim with 40 mods or less, but here's the asterisk, plus their requirements not included. So when installing these mods, read their requirements and see if they need other mods or patches so they perform properly. Okay, now the reason of this video is I see so many people with 1700 or 2000 mods like it's a badge of honor. I want to see if we can transform as much of the base game as we can with 40 mods or less. I think we can do it. What do you think? All right, so let's jump right in with the biggest mod and that is Skyland AIO. No surprise here. Skyland AIO covers all landscape and architecture, but did you know it also covers hundreds of clutter objects simply because they use architecture textures? Now you know. It also purposely covers furniture, ingots, road signs, bridges, and more. All landscape and architecture that you see throughout this video will be Skyland AIO. Next up, Static Mesh Improvement Mod, Rustic Clutter Collection, Rudy HQ, Rallies All Things, and HQ Food and Ingredients. This covers all of your basic residential clutter stuff from plates and silverware to jugs, jars, wine bottles, mead bottles, ingredients, cheeses, meats, grilled leeks, whatever you want. This will cover everything for you. Next up, we have Rustic Animated Potions and Poisons. They change colors, they're animated, they glow. What else could you want? Next, Ruins Clutter Improved. This is an old school mod, but it still holds up. It's, this uh, retextures all of the metal in Nordic ruined dungeons, plus retextures all of the clutter, like all the little tools, all the furnitures, all of the urns. It's a pretty in-depth mod. It looks great, and I haven't found anything that could replace it. Now we have WizKids Signs. This is a standard in my load order. It retextures all of the signs throughout Skyrim. Ends get custom artwork. They swing in the air. You don't need any patches. It works right out of the box. And I really like the way it looks. And I think the custom artwork is really phenomenal for all of the end signs. Realistic Water 2. This is a mainstay in my load order and for millions of other people. The water looks great. Anytime you get a mod that affects water, they're probably gonna have a Realistic Water 2 patch. So no worry there about compatibility. Even Skyline AIO has a watercolor option for Realistic Water 2. Ineat Banners. This is a great banner mod with really cool artwork. There's a lot of banner mods out there. This is the one that I use. I think that this has been in my load order ever since I started making load orders, and I really like the way it looks. Rugnarok. Now this is old school. These are the best looking rugs that you can put in Skyrim. It retextures all of the rugs that you find throughout the game even the rolled up coiled rugs that people shove in their corners. This does a great job, and I love the alpha maps on the tassels at the end of the rugs. Pelt Palooza to retexture all of the pelts in the game. Next, we have Skyland Alchemy and Enchanting Tables, which retextures, well, the alchemy and enchanting tables in beautiful 4K textures. Belly Aches Animal and Creature Pack retextures all of the animals found in Skyrim, except for dragons. So we use Rustic Dragons HD, which I think is very lore friendly, but I love the colors, I love the textures, the normal maps. These are really great looking dragons, and I don't think I found anything better than Rustic Dragons HD unless you want to completely alter everything about dragons. If you're just looking for a texture overhaul, this is perfect. JK AIO. JK Skyrim has been around for a long time. It adds new clutter around all of the cities. If you get JK interiors, it'll do the same thing for the interior buildings. I only use the exterior. You will need some patches probably, but if you have a light load order, you probably won't need any. Next up, Sky UI. This completely transforms the game menu system. It brings it up to a modern standard. It makes the game really easy to navigate in the menus. It's even Todd Howard's favorite mod. Vedosibrum Regions is my favorite grass mod. It gives each zone a unique look and feel, but it stays true to the game, such as the White Run Tundra doesn't look like a wheat field, which I really, really appreciate. It's also super easy on the frame rates. Happy Little Trees, Aspen's Ablaze, and Skyland Happy Little Trees Bark. I love Happy Little Trees. Great for the FPS, but they look amazing. Paired with Aspen's Ablaze out in the rift, 
this becomes a very potent combination. Pair that with Skyline Happy Little Trees bark in really high res, you can get up close and personal with these trees with no blurring. Also, Happy Little Trees has really great snow trees. I know that's very important for a lot of people. They also work really well with Dying to Lod when you want to generate your lods. Rustic Windows. Been around for as long as I can remember. This retextures all of the windows in the game. Now, Skyland AIO has windows for farmhouses and white runs, so put Skyland below this if you want those windows. JS Shrines, retextures and new meshes for all the shrines you pray to, and we have Daedric Shrines for everything else. These shrines look amazing with amazing custom meshes and textures, actual pieces of artwork here. Obsidian Weather and Rudy EMB. This is a combination for a lot of people out there. I know that there's Cathedral Weathers. I know there's a couple other weathers people really like. I love Obsidian. It looks natural. It looks cinematic. It adds a certain emotion and character to the game. And when paired with Rudy EMB, it just takes up that one extra notch. I love these two working in sync with each other. And my game has never looked better. And it's hard for me to shift to other weathers and EMB settings. For my interior lighting, I like to use ELFX, and for my fires, I like to use Inferno. It gives a really great ambiance for the interiors. I really love these two together, and it makes the interiors just have that fantasy type of pop. For my NPCs, I like CBBE, KS Hair, High Poly Head, Bits and Pieces, Leviathan Animations, Pretty Jump Animations, and Pretty Combat Animations. If you would like a more in-depth NPC tutorial, check out the video link above. For my clothing, I like to use Rustic Clothing. This doesn't cover any armor or weapons. That is going to be Cathedral Armor. This will cover all of your weapons and armor in the base game. Doesn't add anything new, but it really brings everything that's already in the game up to modern standards and looks phenomenal. Lastly, you guessed it, it's going to be the whole Dying to Lod Lod series to tie everything together from foreground to the distance. It adds all of the meshes, adds the trees, makes the landscape textures match. The game to me is just not complete until I get my Lod sorted and there's no better place to go than Dying to Lod for this. All right, so how did I do? 40 mods or less, I think we really revolutionized the whole Skyrim base game. We touched on pretty much all of the aspects. There's a couple little gaps where you could throw some more mods in, but all in all, I think we did a really great job. Did I miss your favorite mods? What would your 40 mods or less look like? Let me know in the comments below. This is Sky King, and I will see you all next time.